Our next all new announcement sets the standard for in scale locomotives. Learn more now. Our all new in scale locomotive is the standard turbine and there's nothing standard about this locomotive. Let's take a step back in history. You know, Union Pacific has always been known for seeking the highest horsepower locomotives possible. And if you go all the way back to the 1930s when the first FEFs were delivered to the Challengers, to the big boy steam locomotives, they always had the biggest power. And as time started to change, diesel locomotives became more prevalent. The Union Pacific continued to seek higher and higher horsepower. The first experiment was with Union Pacific 50. This double-ended turbine proved to be successful, so Union Pacific ordered 10 of the standard turbines in 1951. They were delivered in 1952 and 1953. And these special locomotives really carried the grade, being able to outpull the challengers and keep the pace with the big boys on the Wasatch grades in Utah. One of the challenges with these locomotives was the Bunker C fuel oil. This had to be heated to be able to flow into the turbine and make it operate properly. Now the locomotive actually has a prime mover inside to shuttle the locomotive around in the yard. It's got the turbine and it has a steam generator, so there's not a lot of room for a big Bunker C fuel tank. So shortly after the delivery, UP learned that they could make it from about Ogden, Utah to Green River, Wyoming, a distance of a little under 200 miles. It left a long way to go to Cheyenne, another 200 plus miles. So UP converted several steam tenders into a 22,000 gallon cylindrical tender, and that extended the life to Cheyenne and points further east. So now that we've learned about the history of the prototype, let's learn more about these exquisite models. Just like all of our rivet counter models, they have road number and era specific details. You'll notice two versions sitting in front of me here on the table. The first versions were delivered without what are called far grills. The far grills covered the air intakes like the model in the front. You'll also see a lot of unique special features on these locomotives. We're always working to push the limits of the lighting effects. So of course you'll have lighted LED number boards the lighted LED headlight, and as you look at the front of the locomotive, those are the two small lights. The big light is actually a red UDE light and also serves for the operating gyro light when used with DCC. As we work our way back on the locomotive, the biggest difference you're going to see are the far grills on the number 57. Those were added to protect the intake grills like you see on number 51. Most of the photos that we've seen with the tender are without the far grills. You'll also notice a ton of other features like the dual blat horn. You'll see the exhaust stack here. That was for the prime mover in the A unit. You'll have that prime mover sound at slow speed. Of course, the exhaust turbine stack, where you'll hear the turbine sound when the turbine spools up. You've got the radiator grills here on the back. And at the very back, you'll see the exhaust stack. Uh, and of course, that was for the steam generator that heated the Bunker C fuel oil so it would flow into the turbine and help it operate properly. These locomotives have all the detail you've come to expect from the Rivet Counter brand. Everything from the factory applied grab irons. You'll notice the pilot details. As we work back, you'll see all the roof details. You'll notice the air tanks up underneath the frame. Now, unlike most locomotives, all the traction motor cables, all the cabling was up inside the locomotive. Here on the back porch, you'll see a separate brake stand. The tread plate detail is there. And of course, the coupler cut levers and the train line hose are there as well. With the tender, you've got, of course, etched metal walkway on the top. You've got the fine scale handrails on the top. And it also has the rear reverse headlight that works on the tender as well. Underneath the hood, all wheels are powered, so you have 16 wheel pickup. Now unfortunately because of the size of the model, we weren't able to power all of the axles, but you've got the front and rear truck that have the gearing, and then of course that'll give you that thunderous pulling power just like you hear the thunder outside. We're taking pre-orders on these locomotives now. You can do that at our website at scaletrains.com as well as select retailers. Look for delivery of these great models in early 2021. Thanks for tuning in.